Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee. Now um, I'm going to demo um, a painting project um, I, that I'm in the process of uh, uh, commissioning. Um, it's actually a follow-up on a large project I did six years ago. Um, there was a elephant parade. I did an uh, elephant uh, decorated with a uh, apricot blossom and uh, it was auctioned um, for charity, uh, uh, you know, for the elephant. And uh, th this couple that was missed uh, the, the auction, not coming back to the gallery and uh, talking uh, to me to do it again on a um, life-size elephant that they still have from that event and uh, you know with uh, some more um, customization like we'll do the cherry blossom instead of apricot um, because last time I was collaborated with uh, Bing Bing Lee, the actress, and she, uh, her birth month flower is apricot, so we did uh, that for her. And the uh, cherry blossom is more um, dense, like uh, you know, clouds in the in the sky, in her, like a pink clouds, and with lots of. Um, flowers and uh, actually the couple uh, when the, the husband is uh, originally from Japan and uh, he, he requests uh, the clouds uh, I mean the the petals falling like uh, like uh, pink clouds so you can see some petals flying in the sky um, you know we also did a ton we toned the the canvas. This is a canvas uh, with a, a little bit, a little bit of light blue instead of pure uh, white. Let me show you. This is the early uh, from the pre the original project study uh, color study I did. So basically, it was a, a white background with a uh, color only on the flowers. And uh, I even had a prototype. This is the elephant model. It's a baby, a tiny replica of the original. Um, and then the real one is, is maybe up to my chin at least. Um, so it will be life-size baby elephant again when, I, when I'm actually doing it. Um, so this this color theme is from the the original. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now um, I'm going to do some details. As you just. See, I, I did uh, some petals. Uh, basically, I start with dark, and then I I put a, a white light or lighter pink on top of that. Uh, now I'm going to go back to dark again to do the calyx and the stamen. Um, it's kind of green, greenish, um, huge kind of. Color I'm looking for just add some red light, uh, red to yellow and the blue to make it like uh, this area. I want to make up some more lines. I'm using the synthetic brush. It's made of a synthetic wolf, not the animal hair, um, because. Uh, Acrylic can ruin natural brush easily, so you need, need to use synthetic, not even hog 
rush, you know, the heart breathes or you, you know, not all your brush that you use, if it's a heart, you better change it into synthetic, right? But this, uh, this Chinese brush is made of synthetic. Synthetic. Um, it's like a rigor brush. So let me add some. Uh, this is acrylic, golden um, acrylic. So I just add some uh, red, yellow, and blue together to get a kind of brown tone uh, to do the. Colors. <clears throat> you don't want to use white on um, white, right? So we use dark. Let me make the camera a little closer. As close as I can, maybe, as you can see it. I think that's the closest I can get. Uh, so I dot the tolerance. You can do the stamen first, but I just want to get the color done. The stamen is the last, maybe. I'll see if I use white, um, yellow, or even you know dark. Uh, yes, you can you can adjust that. Just make a. This is too dry. So just uh, a kind of like a gem color. Some student in my class, uh, they got the statement too, too careful, you know, too round. Uh, but you know, they they put a statement on each on top of each, uh, on on each dot. That's worse. Like, uh, so that's why I I try to show you the proper way to do it. You should create a rhythm, some. Thing, some light. This area is like focal point, so it's heavier. This style is uh, uh, the Liman school, the Southern uh, China school, or Cantonese school, if you want. Um, particularly the master. My favorite artist, uh, Li Ye Wu, um, Li, same last name, Ye, Y E, um, U, W, U. You can get a book, ebook, from uh, Blue Heron, Blue Heron Arts. Um, you'll, you'll see uh, his teaching samples um, that he painted for teaching his wife. He died like in a uh, very uh, uh, young age, like a 30, 38, I think, or 39, but not, not uh, even 40. Um, so he left very few paintings to us. Um, besides the, the teaching, Album. Last year, I was lucky that I got original by him from an auction in New York, online actually. Um, it was a chrysanthemum. It's terrible, some just like this. 
So he will use dark dots and a light pink, a light pink petals. Just kind of orangey green, let's say, orange green, dark. Okay, this, this area I try to mm, like fog it, you know, to um, soften so we don't have to do each petal, each um, flower all the, throughout the painting, but still I have to identify some. Can you see it? Okay. Kind of hard to manage the camera uh, all by myself. I try to do it. The, I already um, watched the center of the flower with the uh, light green, kind of like a, like a sh shady area. So this was the around that uh, is in between the petal and the, the center of the shady center of the. So. Dark, too dark. Add some green and the orange. You can add white to correct. This is uh, this is a acrylic painting so you can cover with white but you know try to keep it to look like a watercolor and calligraphy so not to repeat too much it's the idea okay Can add. Uh, I have the uh, the young leaf shoot that comes out with the flower. You can you can add a vein to that with dark rouge color or uh, uh, crimson, Isaiah crimson color. I'm using now. It's dry so fast. Just accidentally. Some, you know, give the dance part. Go dance. 
All right, now uh, I have to decide what color for the stamen. So I would go with white, maybe. Okay, I try to use the small. Let me see if this one works. Oh, I got, have to cut the door. Sorry about that. Uh, anybody watching? Let me see. I can see. Let me see my channel. Okay, I will do the hummingbird. Anyway, if you have any question, I will uh, answer later. I uh, cannot get to the questions right now. Um, I will do the hummingbirds, maybe two, uh, just or just one, if I have room for two, I, I doubt. Uh, I'll just do one here, you get some colors, it will be you see the belly could be kind of gray white some yellow maybe brown <clears throat> okay we we'll just do a oval shape belly and put uh, some uh, brown on the with the tail part okay and uh, the neck actually is uh, much longer than we, we think, maybe. Like that. And then I use green, purple, blue, that make a dark to do the, the, the head. Um, it will be foreshortened, I think. So just like that. And then the shoulder. And uh, unlike the, the other birds, the, there's no shoulder, just with directly with the feather. Okay, now uh, the other side. 
I'll, I'll soften it with uh, some white. It will be gray, quite a bit in the one stroke. Better. It's not a watercolor, I have to use my fingers to blur it. Blur it. That's a little bit too large, but uh, See, maybe this paper towel, maybe maybe cover some. It's blurry, anyway. Okay, and uh, for male, I think there's a red neck. So let me use a smaller brush. I'll just do the, the eye and beak first. Just take advantage of the shape of the brush, the long bristle, right? The other side of the head. Some gray on the neck. If the red throat, uh, you can do the dark first, then add red to it. This is the eye. I have to use white later to cover that. Now I'm going to do the uh, pale um, with the dark green and blue. Maybe. Just some some uh, brown color. Graphic. So there's some white um, at the end, so we'll have to suggest that. Okay, I'll just put some white. Um, also, pupil. I like Maybe some gray around the eye. Yeah, like this. I 
I don't think you can see that. Even I cannot see that. Uh, I have to wear my glass. I think it, we don't have to worry about that because it's just an idea. And the neck, um, no neck, just a little suggestion of the feet. Just a little red. If you use pure color without water, it will cover the dark. Just dot that. That's about it. Um, let me redo the highlight in the eye. Okay. I think we can do it after it dries. Yeah, you know, um, <coughs> I think that's it. Oh, I forgot the, the uh, stamen. Uh, we just use some uh, some yellow with the uh, white. I got some gray in it. Anyway, you just you have to be patient to do this. Just leave a little circle in the center. You can circle it with the uh, orange, maybe, later if you want. Just like we do the plum, you know, the you can circle it um, and then just draw the lines. You don't have to match the dots. Okay, there's no need for, the, for doing that. Never match the statement with the point dots. Just radiate from the center. This will give it a very decorative, very detailed look. It doesn't take that long because I, I do the flowers in steps, in um, you know all the all the petals in one step, and then, and then the uh, the light petals and the dark dots then this light um, statement let me show you this 
should be some perspective so you don't have to make it uh, long you know you can do it just like a three quarters of a circle that kind of thing in, in side view you know, I when I leave that little area and touch you form a circle in the very uh, center of that sorry I think I touch this I have to use the, the what's it called the last stick oh, I forgot the tool I can use my finger maybe to hold it it's better to do it on the table but on the elephant it's more you know more challenge because uh, it's a three dimensional <laughs> it's like a, it's not flat at, at all so the elephant would be even more challenged. Show you the details. So now you can see, right? You see that? Can you see what I did here? The pants is kind of thick. Should be a little. More. I just add water. This one. Okay, it's kind of yeah. Okay, uh, I'll spend more time on this, but uh, that's 80% done already, you can see 90% done already. Um, my uh, my demo of a hummingbird with the cherry blossom in acrylic, uh, but in a Chinese manner. Thank you everybody for following me on YouTube. Uh, and you can subscribe to my channel for future uh, videos. I will broadcast when I actually paint the elephant if I got this commission uh, early next month, maybe. Um, okay. Bye-bye.